Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Let's wait for some people to join. Maribel Cruz, hello. Nintendo Gaming Tuber, no, no. Welcome. Joanna Rivera, Chad Allen Jr., Edward Sanchez Productions, Vanguard Everything, Evaristo Silvestre, Javery Jefferson, Ryan McKim, Lucky Star Z, Debatal Gaming, Lord of Legends 6.0, welcome. What's up, everyone? Um, chat, well, that's awesome, Maribel. Thank you for joining. Thank you to everybody that hopped in. You guys are my, uh, my first comers to the stream, so welcome. You saw my Beast X Morpher review, thank you. Blossom Powerpuff Girl Z, hello. So, today, we got some stuff to unbox here. Some Super Sentai. I know I've had a few people ask me, um, so are you going to get Ryu Soldier stuff? The answer is some things. I'm not getting everything Ryu Soldier related, but there's some things that I'm getting. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to continue getting them. Depends on how much I like these things or not. So we shall see. Um, so we'll talk about what's, what's coming. Um, but uh, I did get these from Image Anime. But before I do that, I want to mention a couple things uh, as well. One being, I got the Beast X Morpher. I did a review of the Beast X Morpher. Go check it out. Um, but also, these arrived today from Target.com. We have Beast Morphers, Target.com, guys. Um, they are, I think, mostly all sold out now. Uh, but I got red and blue. I got yellow and Tronic. Um, unfortunately, could not find uh, like Blaze online anywhere on Target, Walmart. Blaze just hasn't gone up yet. So the Blaze is the only one I'm missing out of the, the core line. And then I also have uh, Cruise and Smash as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet because I kind of want to review them all with Blaze. So do I like split up the videos? I don't know. That might be too much. So I might kind of wait it out and look for um, look for Blaze. I just need Blaze to get the set, and then I'll and then I'll do these these videos. I think. Um, also on Wednesday, I think it is, is when my Cheetah Beast Blaster is gonna arrive. So um, the Cheetah Beast Blaster is another thing I'll be reviewing, and I think that's it for Beast Morphers at this moment. Um, so I just wanted to mention that because I know some people have asked, so that's, you know, in the works. Um, uh, but we are here for Ryu Soldier, right? So let's jump right to that. Um, uh, I did watch episode one of Ryu Soldier. I, I did watch episode one. Um, and I mean, it was, it was good. It, Sentai is like hard for me. It's hard to judge based off like the first couple episodes, you know, you kind of got to stick with it a bit and see, um, so I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, very interesting premise. Um, I, I don't know yet. I, I don't know if it's something that I'm going to stick with or not. Uh, we shall we shall see, I guess. But I just want to do this, this unboxing here. Uh, and then if you guys have any certain things, any questions, comments, whatever... You can post in the chat. Do I have high expectations for Beast Morphers? I don't have high expectations. Um, in general, I rarely have high expectations for stuff like that. Because um, what's the point, right? Like, there's only certain things that I really need. Um, and anything beyond that is, is great, is icing on the cake, you know? Um, but I'm loving what they have done so far, you know? So I'm let them just keep doing what they're doing because it's it's working out, you know? Target.com is the Cheetah Blade. I did see that. I'm not planning on buying the Cheetah Blade, I'll be honest. Um, I mean, it's kind of an interesting design, but also it doesn't do anything. There's no lights or sounds or anything, and it's like, what am I going to do with it? I just The Cheetah Beast Blaster I'm getting because it's got the nerf thing, uh, and it's kind of cool to like flip it over and do the thing. Like, I don't know. That's kind of neat. But the Cheetah Blade, I'm just like, I don't, I don't really care, you know? I'm, I'm going into that mindset. I'm not, I'm not buying everything. I'm buying the things that I think are worth buying or that I'm interested in. 
If I'm not interested in it, why waste my money? You know, um, I just there's just there's just no need for that anymore. You know, um, the 12 inch Rangers is another thing. I just I have no need for those. I don't. I mean, they look better than the 12 inch ones we've been getting, the Nutcracker Rangers, right? But I just I don't I don't have a need for them. So why why bother? You know. Um, What's up, J-Man? Am I ready for Battle of the Grid? Yes, I am. So uh, the um, Battle for the Grid, I got my email just a little while ago with my code for the game. I pre-ordered it uh, on Switch, the collector's edition or whatever. Uh, but when I tried to redeem it on the eShop, I got an error because I think you have to wait until the game is officially out for it to work. Um, so I have to wait till well, it comes out tomorrow, which is pretty crazy. So um I am going to try soon. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow um, because I, I teach a class now and I teach on Wednesdays and I have things to prepare for. But soon, like in the next few days, maybe in the next week, um, I want to do a live stream doing some gameplay of Battle for the Grid. Okay, let's just let's open this thing up. Let me see what's inside of here. And, okay. So, let me show you guys what I got, all right? Um, how much is Battle for the Grid? The regular version of the game is $20, um, so very affordable. And then the uh, Deluxe Collector's Edition is $40, which is still pretty affordable. All right. So, inside this box, we have... And I am so terrible. Um, this is why I don't usually do Super Sentai videos, is I don't know all the terms and all the stuff. It doesn't have it on English. Some of these boxes would have the names on English, but they don't do that anymore. Um, it's the the changer. What is it? Is it the Reuso changer? Or what is it called? I probably should not have moved that package away. Um, yeah, Reuso changer. The Reuso changer. So here it is right here. Maribel, do I have the donation thing? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. I mean, there's like super chats and stuff um, through YouTube, but that's that's like how it works. Um, I mean, you know, if it, I don't like if anybody does that, I appreciate it. But I'm not, you know, I'm not. I don't like ask for donations and things. You know, just you guys watching my videos to me just um, means a lot. Um, but yeah, I thought this looked interesting. I do like wrist changers. And um, it looked kind of cool. So I was like, you know what? I, if if there's one thing that I'm going to get, it's got to be like the changer, right? Like that's like the main thing, you know? So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. So that's what I got. Uh, to go alongside the changer, I also got the um, the Ryu Soul series set number one. So they have a couple different... There, there's... Um, uh, you know, they're going to release sets of these different um, Ryu Souls. And I wanted to get these so that way we... Um, I can have different sounds and stuff with the uh, the changer, you know? So um, I don't even know which ones these are, what their names are, but it's all in set one. Man, they used to have stuff in English, too. I'm kind of disappointed about that because that would help me out because I, you know, suck at remembering some of these things. Um, but whatever. Here it is right here. Um, and then the last thing in this box is, let me pull up the, uh, the name here. There we go. The Kishirio, is that it? Kishirio? The, the, the Mecca, basically. Uh, yeah. So here it is right here. Uh, this is the, the package with the red, blue, and pink mecha. Um, now, the one other thing I want to mention, I also have pre-ordered the green and black mecha as well, and the Ryu Soul set number two. Um, I don't know when those are supposed to come out, I think in the next couple weeks, so whenever those come out, I will have those as well. But that's all that I have pre-ordered right now. I did not get the little buckle thing. I never... I, I used to get one or two of the buckles, but I just I just don't need them. Um, 
And I also, I did not get the sword. Um, the, um, oh wait, Randy, are you saying all the sounds are in the sword? So like the changer doesn't have all these extra sounds with stuff? Because if that's the case, I'm going to be severely disappointed. I, I, I thought usually the changers have all the sounds. So if the sword has all the sounds, which I know I saw in the show, they were using the sword a lot. But that's going to be correct. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for that info, Randy. But I am now severely disappointed. Uh, I'm going to open these up and look into them a bit more. But because mm, the thing is, the sword was kind of interesting, but it also isn't like I hate that the sword is like a little blade. Like it's not, you know, more like the show. Obviously, it's a kid's toy, so it's not going to be like that, but it's it still just looked kind of lame in small form. Like it just, I don't know. It seemed kind of weird. So maybe now I have to get it. I don't know. I guess it just depends on how much I like some of these things. I, that is kind of disappointing actually. Um, I do think the mecha looks interesting. In the show, I love the way the mecha looks. In toy form, I don't know how I feel about the Lego parts and stuff. Uh, it's very interesting. I do like that you can come up with all sorts of combinations but just the way that it looks with like those Lego pieces on it and stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, we shall see. So, uh, let's just open up some of these things, right? Let's kind of jump right in. I guess I'll start with the changer. What do I think about the, the morpher? Uh, are you talking about this? I think the sword is meant to be changed as much as a wrist change loss. Ah, that's so, mm. That's, that's disappointing. That's so disappointing. How long does it take for me to decide if I like a Sentai or not? I think it, it varies depending on a couple factors. One, one of the biggest things is do I even like the suits and the mecha and all that? Because uh, if I don't, then I'm just not even going to bother. Um, two, do the toys look interesting? And then three, like... Is the show entertaining to watch? You know, there's multiple factors that went into it. So, like, Q-Ranger, I fell in love with the suits, and everything came after it. I just, I loved, and it was it was fantastic. Um, Lupin Ranger was Pot Ranger. Not a big fan of the suits, and I, that's why I just didn't watch any of it. Um, just just didn't, didn't care for it. Ryu Soldier, I kind of have mixed feelings about, I'll be honest. Um, I think I really, I like the helmets. I think the helmets look really cool. I'm a little iffy on the suits themselves. Um, but also the overall theme, like, I think the night theme is kind of interesting, but the fact that it's, and I know some people don't like when you compare it, but Kyoryuger and Ryu Soldier, like, the same Ranger colors. You got dinos. And the whole music thing seems to be pretty pre prominent, pre prominent um, at least from episode one. So, I just, I, eh, it just, that, that is kind of pushing me away a little bit. I'm giving it a bit of a chance, so we'll see. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on the whole thing. Uh, it was enough for me to get some of the stuff to, to make some videos and see what I think. But beyond that, I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. So here's some stuff. Yeah, for important instructions. Uh, what Sentai series are the U.S. going to adapt next? We have no idea. Uh, we have no idea. What do I think about Beast Morphers, the show and the toys? I am loving them so far. Um, it's pretty great. Is the Beast X Morpher better than other Morphers in the past? I mean, I think it depends on which Morphers you're talking about, right? Like, um, in recent years, um, like the Super Mega Force one, it was okay. Uh, Ninja Steel Morpher sucked. Um, the Mega Force one, the Gosei Morpher was great. Um, 
what else? Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of depends. The samurai one wasn't so great. Um, it it kind of just depends, I think. Yeah, especially because the uh, samurai was such a downgrade from the Japanese one, I think. Um, which I never, I, I kind of wanted. I never actually got one, but I, I wanted one. Um, the, uh, and now I'm blinking on the name. The, um, you know, whatever they use in Shinkenger, uh, which I watched Shinkenger. It was the first Sentai that I watched all of, and it was fantastic. And I wanted one of the, um, the things. You guys know what I'm talking about. You'll post in the chat. Um, the, uh. Shotophone, yes, thank you, Raymond. Uh, have I watched Ryu Soldier? I watched episode one. I think episode two, the sub, just came out recently. If anybody's interested in watching this stuff, go to Overtime. At least that's how I watch them. There's other places probably, but Overtime is the uh, the place that I that I watch the stuff. I'm not picky about, like, subtitle quality or not. I just... Whatever's quick and easy. That's That's all it is for me. Give me a direct download link, and I'm set. Um, all right, so we got this here. Um, let's. Here, I'm not just gonna. I'm not gonna put this on yet. But here's the morpher. One thing I will say, I do love the nice metallic paint. That looks so shiny and nice. I like it. Metallic red is amazing. And I guess what this goes over it like that. Okay, interesting. It does kind of remind me of Dino Thunder a little bit. Yeah. Um, different style to it, because the spinning thing was not part of it, but in terms of look a little, um, it's kind of cool. So, there's a little tab. Alright, I took it out, what happens? Alright. Alright, interesting. Well, here is the, uh... The actual, are these the Ryu Souls? I keep wanting to say like a key. So it's like the little dinosaur thing. And then, um, but these, these uh, um, do remind me of like the Dino Char or Dino Thunder like face plates kind of, except it's not a full face plate. It's like a Dino Thunder face plate thing mixed with a Ranger key kind of. Um, and there you go. I'll keep spinning without the Ryu Soul to get a phrase. Okay. All right, interesting. So, um, then this thing goes in here somehow. Oh, I see. So the back of this is how it reads. I have the instructions here. I probably should read it. I did watch one or two little videos, but I didn't pay super close attention, I'll be honest. Those are fun sounds. <sighs> That's kind of neat, like, and the whole Ryu so cool or whatever. It's kind of funny, but also, I don't know. It's kind of cool, but it, see, it keeps bringing back memories of Kyoryuger, and at least in Kyoryuger, um, uh, I actually had the the Japanese um, uh, version of the the changer, and the sounds were were even cooler than this. Like this, it was so cool versus this. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but it is pretty big. So if you imagine on your wrist, like it's a uh, pretty decent size. This should be our next Power Ranger series. They better do Q-Ranger next or I'm going to be mad. Yes, the Gabu Revolver. Thank you. Um, uh, I did buy a, um, a whole set of the uh, um, the Judenchi, And uh, I had the Gabu Revolver and everything. Like That was awesome. Can you hold it down to do anything? Does this do anything? Uh, 
Tokyuger, I loved, the thing about Tokyuger is I, I tried to watch the show a little bit and I couldn't get into it because I don't like the suits, but the mecha, I loved. I got all the mecha. Um, it was so good. All the Resha and everything. I love the train thing. It was so much fun, but I, I couldn't, I just, I didn't like the suits. Um, okay. So that is very interesting there. Um, it does feel a little awkward because like it's like this and you have to kind of hold it off to the edge so that it doesn't hit your finger when you flip it up. But it's kind of cool though. I do like the whole flipping mechanic. Um, there you go. Where do I order the mechas from? Um, in general, I end up ordering from Image Anime, but I've ordered from a couple other places before. Um, I know that Image Anime is, might be a little bit more expensive than some other places, but they've been the easiest for me to get in stock sometimes. Um, and also when you add in shipping and all that, it actually isn't that much different. Um, and they are very quick, um, at shipping their stuff as well. Like, sometimes I'll get things before some folks that get stuff from other places. I think the only reason I got this one a little bit later than, than some other folks was because I also um pre-ordered a couple other things i've tried cs toys before um and they're fine i just i don't know i i really don't have a specific preference uh Joanna rivera will i still review the dino thunder yellow white and psycho rangers yes i will still review review all of those um okay so i opened this up let me kind of move this stuff out of the way let me make some room here move my my ipad out of the way where can I put it? I'll put it down here. Um, oh man, yeah, so I now I'm kind of, I might have to get the, uh, the sword thing now. Well, let's see what happens, because I have a set, right? The Ryu Soul set, number one. So I want to see, like, does it even do anything different or no? Like, was this a total waste? I probably should have paid more attention to, to that then. I guess the thing is, I I honestly just watched a couple videos of like looking at what these were and a little bit of the Morpher and then the, uh, the Mecha. I didn't really look at videos of the sword because I didn't buy the sword. So I was like, uh, why would I even bother? And then I guess that was my own fault then. Um... All right, so this is set number one. Um, the sword is worth it. Um, all right, well, a couple of you are saying that it's worth it, so I might I might have to look into it now. Um, so maybe I'll get it uh, along with the, uh, like in time with um, the other stuff I have pre-ordered. I mean, is it still available or is it like, um, uh, or is it, um, what do you call, um, like sold out? I don't know. Your wife standing right behind you. You had me freaked out for a second because that's something that she would totally do. So like when I saw the, the thing, I looked through the camera behind me. I was like, is she actually there? But um, she would totally try and jump up and sneak up on me. All right, so we have three of these right here. So I don't know what's what, but uh, here is this one. CS Toys has it. Okay, cool. You know what? Actually, I do have a, um, cause I, I got, I was one of their lucky draw winners and I think I still have a 500 yen discount code or something. So that's actually perfect. Um, I should, I've been looking for something to get from CS Toys. Um, How many Sentai have I actually finished, and what's my favorite? I have finished Shinkenger, Golkaiger, and Q Ranger. Uh, my favorite, uh, gosh, would be I think Golkaiger then Q Ranger, then Shinkenger. Um, like, Shinkenger was my 
first Sentai that I watched all of, and it was a just a solid story, solid characters. Um, and I loved the the suits, the the weapons, the zords, the whole aesthetic of it was great. Um, Gold Hydra is my all around favorite because the cast is amazing. I love the suits, everything about it, and it and it opened me up to a greater world of Super Sentai as well. Um, that was that was pretty great. Um, Q Ranger I loved also, but and they're my absolute favorite suits. The Q Ranger suits are my favorite. Um, okay, let's see what this thing does, if anything, in the uh, in the changer here. It just said reuse only. Okay, so that's interesting. Alright, does it do anything if you like spin multiple times? I don't know. The Reusol changer sound provides the name of the Reusol and the sword provides the attack sounds. Got it. Okay, thank you Power Rider 98. Um, Alright, so there's that. And then this set also had this one. So that's pretty cool. Oh, these things are easy to like fly out of your hand because they pop out with such force. Was that different? That sounded like the same thing. Because... It is the same thing. Yeah, so it doesn't actually have the name of it. Or am I missing something? So it doesn't have the name of the Ryu Souls. Because it's all the same thing. Right? That was the same sound. Um, anyways, here's the third one here. I'm not missing anything. Okay. Um, cause that's incredibly disappointing. Like that's, that's like the basic that a changer should do. There's a set of silver night key. CS toys that has a limited orange key free with orders until gone. Um, interesting. All right, where's my, where did I put it? Oh, I just want to see something here. Did I see the PlayStation Direct? No, I've had zero time. I literally got home from, from work late and then um, ate dinner, and I'm here live making this video. Um, okay, I don't fully understand all the... I'm trying to see if it does any extra sounds when you spin it even more, or doesn't look like it so maybe not um yeah so that's kind of disappointing is there an off switch i don't see an off switch i guess it just automatically turns off because i don't see an off switch here hmm. well all right well there's that <laughs> um so with that being said i guess i should open this up next Does a wristband fit adult hand? It looks really small. Um, it looks very standard though for like Sentai stuff. So it fits my hand, um, but it doesn't look super big though. So if it's anything like other changers, it's gonna be a little tight, like not the most comfortable thing. Um, that's like the Beast X Morpher is um, so comfortable. Uh, the wrist strap, you know, and so I, I wish more uh, morphers or changers would all kind of have like a similar thing like that. But all right, here's the instructions. Um, oh, it's gonna have all sorts of pieces, isn't it? I don't even have space for all this stuff. All right, well, I guess I'll try and keep track of it somehow. Uh, 
Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate that. I definitely would like to pick up the Mecca. It does look interesting, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, so these are the uh, the feet here. Hello, Charizard Ranger. Oh, we have another Ryu Soul. Is this any different? Is this the exact same paint, everything? I mean, it's the exact same like uh, thing that it reads, it looks like. Huh. It's different in the sword. Oh no, you're right. It does have a different pin. You're right. Um, but I'm kind of disappointed that like you really can't tell unless you look closely at the pin. Cause like, what if I mix them up? I'm not gonna know which is which unless I'm staring at the pin. So the one that has the extra little pin um, has a different sound for the sword. I can, I can see that now, um, a little extra thing there. But otherwise, it looks to be the exact same. So, there you have it. Um, okay, let's open this up. Lots of little pieces. All right. The tail. Yeah, I saw that it's like Lego, absolutely. How did the fasting and holiday go? Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Um, at least this year it hasn't. So the uh, Ramadan starts in basically in like May. It's pretty much like the month of May. Bye, Joanna, take care. That's very interesting looking. Uh, okay, let's see if it's got some details on how to plop all this together here. Okay. So what is what? So this is the left one. Am I doing this right? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, up here. Okay. So it clips on. Yeah, it is very much like Cure Uger. Absolutely. So. And the legs going forward like that. And then this part, stuff is already flying off. Um, all right, let's see if I can do this properly. This part rotates, or am I not rotating it right? Maybe not. <laughs> oh no, it's just saying, I don't know what it's saying. Um, I don't know. All right, we'll figure this out. So this is here. It does rotate, right? Okay, I'm not going crazy. Am I? No, I'm confused. These instructions are confusing me. I don't know. I'll have to look this up. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Um, I think it goes like this because then you can put like Lego pieces, uh, like in the front there. Interesting. Very interesting. Actually, let me see if I can just do the, uh, oops, no, this is falling off. Like the full Megazord mode or whatever you want to call it. Oh, is it like locked into place? It actually won't let me move it now. Oh, you have to hold down the button now. Oh, okay, interesting. All right, so let's say I leave it like this. They are like Lego pieces, basically, you see? It's not actually Lego, but it looks like Lego. So this, I assume, just pops right in the front here. 
And then what else we got? This tail, which probably just sits in the back somewhere, maybe. I think so. Okay. Interesting. And then we have these pieces here. So these all detach. And these go like on the shoulders. Well, it kind of sucks that one side has the screw. I wish like they would have put the screws on the, the sides that were facing in the back, but I guess if you mix and match, that's going to be inevitable. Um, what'd you miss? I'm opening up the Mecca right here and kind of putting it together, trying to figure out what I'm even doing because I don't, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm figuring it out as we go. All right, I think that's it. And then this basically um, is supposed to form the, uh, you just kind of insert it in just like this. And there you go. I think I did this right. <laughs> hey, it looks right, it looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of dig it. I, I was a little hesitant about some of the Lego stuff, but like, I don't know, it's actually not too bad. I think this is an interesting design. I do love the way this looks in the show. Um, cause it's so agile. So like, um, it doesn't look as robotic and blocky, you know? Um, so I do love that. And actually it's not, not a bad toy at all. Um, I kind of wish I missed the days of some of the Megazords having sounds where like I would plop this in and it would make a sound, you know? Um, technically speaking, I guess you could plop in other ones, uh, if if you wanted to, not that it makes any sense because they just have like a night face, um, but it works if you wanted to, to change it. Is that something that happens in the show? I don't know. We've only seen episode one. Um, it's a shame it doesn't have elbow articulation. Yeah, but I guess that's kind of expected a lot with um, with the mecha as the articulation is not that great. Um, so that is a little disappointing, but yeah, that is interesting though. It's kind of cool. Um, all right, so here's this. And then I, the box also has the other one, the blue and pink. So let me uh, get these out of the box here. Right, let's see. What's the best way to open this? I don't even know. Okay. It comes with the other two reusals. Got it. Oh, this is the blue one? It's a lot smaller than I was thinking. I mean, I guess if it has to be parts of like the arm or something, like, I guess that makes sense, but that's actually smaller than I was thinking. I mean, this part is actually pretty long, but here, I don't know, interesting. What's up? It does look cool though. I do like the designs. That's pretty. And then you do have your other ones here. Do these make different sounds in the changer or does the changer literally only make the same sound for every single uh, reusal? Cause that's gonna be even more incredibly disappointing if there's not a different sound to do the same in the changer. The only difference is the noise when you press the red button. Okay, at least there's a different noise for pushing the button. At least that's something. Um, but man, that's just like, that's a huge miss in my opinion. I just, that, that's a big miss. Um, oh, and then they give you instructions just for, uh, for these things too. So that's cool. Um, all right, so here is the blue one. Again, I do like the paint that they use for these because it's a nice, shiny, metallic paint. Like, look at that. He actually kind of looks like Megatron. <laughs> um, 
So that's actually really cool. And then you have the pink ranger. This looks very much like a knight right there with the, that similar thing to what they have in their helmets. Um, yeah, so well, I guess let's let's try this out, right? Let's see what happens. All right, so I got blue. So as you guys said, same sound, no difference, but let's press the button. Okay, you got a different sound there at least. Um, I know the buckle comes with one too, but I just didn't really, I don't really care about the buckles. Um, am I getting the Lightning Collection Goldar? Yes, I have it pre-ordered. Um, all right, so I have this, and then let's do pink. Interesting. Uh, let's share this. Um, see what it looks like when I just swap these guys out. It's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, and so you can mix and match different things here. I have to read up on all the combinations and how it's supposed to be done. Um, cause again, I'm not super familiar with it, but just for the heck of it, I don't think this is right, but I'm just going to attach something here and just for the heck of it, you can see like, you can come up with whatever you want. This may not be right, but it works. So, you know, um, I know it actually splits apart and there's other things you can do, but the point is you can come up with all sorts of combinations of stuff, which is kind of interesting. So, um, yeah. So there you have it. So I think my, my very initial impressions um, are that, I am um, severely disappointed by the changer. And it's very few sounds. That is just, that's very disappointing for me. Um, I'm kind of iffy on these just because, like, they look kind of interesting, but I wanted these for extra sounds with the changer. Obviously, it doesn't work. I guess I have to get the sword if I really want these to be worth it. Otherwise, these are worthless. Um, but the mecha, I mean, I've barely done anything with it, but my initial thoughts are this is actually pretty cool. Um, I like the look of it, and I like the flexibility of how you can combine stuff and everything, so I want to learn, you know, what you can do with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's kind of exciting. So I, I'm going to look into the sword. I don't know for sure yet. I feel like I kind of have to, because otherwise some of this is like a waste, you know? So I think I probably... We'll get the sword. Um, but I do have the green and black mecha and also set number two pre-ordered. So whenever those come, I will have that. After that, am I going to get more stuff from Ryu Soldier? I don't know. My initial thought is no. Because um, my initial thought is I'm not blown away by anything. Like, I'm not loving it a lot like I was with Q-Ranger and Tokyuger and other stuff that I did get. Um, it's kind of neat, but... I'm not like blown away by it. So uh, we'll see. Maybe with the sword, that might change my mind. Um, but I got these, so I will be checking these out. So if you're interested in some more detailed videos and stuff, then stay tuned. Um, when I find some time in the next week or two, I'll try and work on some of these videos and get these out. Uh, but I want to do this kind of quick look and show you, you know, what these are, what you get. Um, because, you know, it's a new Sentai. A new Sentai is here. So 
Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, but my main focus right now with my limited schedule, because I am very busy at work, um, and also I'm teaching a class at a university. Um, so my focus is Beast Morphers, you know? I got the new Beast Morphers toys as I showed at the beginning of the live stream. I have more stuff I have to get, more stuff on the way. Uh, so I will be working on those videos in the future. Um, Battle for the Grid comes out tomorrow, so I'll probably do a video about that soon. Um, so that's kind of my, my immediate focus uh, with the limited time that I have. But do expect some more videos on these in the near future as well. Uh, it is about budgeting, Gerald, absolutely. Um, that's why I, I don't always get Super Sentai stuff. I didn't get anything Lugan Ranger vs. Pot Ranger. Kind of have to pick and choose, you know? Um, Geo, second episode is out with subs. I saw that earlier today. I haven't watched it yet, but, uh, yeah, I'll have to check it out and see, see how it is. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that, that first look at some of the Ryu Soldier stuff. Um, I got the $40 Collector's Edition for Battle of the Grid for Nintendo Switch. Um, if I like it enough, I might get the Xbox thing for a crossplay, uh, because I do have an Xbox One X. But also from the 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 fact that there's only nine characters in the base roster and all that kind of stuff, I'm a little hesitant on that. Uh, maybe I'll wait and see how things play out over time. Um, but I have the Switch version. Um, I got my code in my email. I just can't redeem it yet. So probably tomorrow I'll be able to redeem it, and uh, I'll do a, a live stream or something, and we'll uh, we'll figure it out. So. Thanks, Gerald. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think that kind of covers it. If you're interested in the reaction videos that I do, then I posted four reaction videos the other day. Um, do I think they'll make key packs for Beast Morphers? I, I don't think that they really need to. Um, you know, I think I think they'll be okay without it. Have I caught up in the Power Rangers comics? Yes, I, I am uh, reading it as they release. Um, and it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm loving GoGo. -Go. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying MMPR right now. Uh, I'm excited for what comes after this current arc with Beyond the Grid. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so that kind of kind of covers it. So um, yes, I'm going to do a review of the Legacy figures. Yes, I have Amiibo reviews for Smash Brothers. Um, yes, I have Marvel Legends videos to review. Got lots of that stuff on the way. Uh, Go Go Power Rangers is not ending. So that was um, an assumption that people were making that spread online. Ryan Parrott confirmed that Go Go Power Rangers is not ending, um, at least not yet. I think one day I sure, I'm sure it will because at some point they'll get to the Green with Evil arc, you know. Um, but as of now, it is not ending. Um, Ryan Parrott will be doing both series. <laughs> Uh, Lucky Star Z, I did see that. Um, I am not expecting a team up. Even though we saw the, some of the set photos, I'm thinking it might be a couple characters, like one or two characters, some kind of little mini crossover cameo thing. Um, but I'm trying not to get my expectations up for any, for any kind of a bigger team up. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we would know more about it or something. I, so it just, it, maybe one or two characters might show up, but I, I'm not expecting a full team up. Um... But maybe, maybe that would be great. But you know, I'm just keeping my keeping my expectations low. So we shall see. Anyways, guys, I have to go head out because I have things to do. But hopefully, you enjoyed this live stream. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the Ryu Soldier stuff as well. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.